Frank Sawyer's Pheasant Hill Nymph. Um, Frank Sawyer was a river keeper on the Wiltshire Avon in the UK and a keen observer of nature. And one of the flies that uh, uh, he came up with is the one he's best known for, is the Sawyer Pheasant Hill Nymph. The Sawyer Pheasant Hill Nymph is an imitation of a betis, a swimming nymph, and as such it's a very streamlined affair. Uh, Frank Sawyer soon uh, recognized that when the uh, nymph is most vulnerable to be eaten by a fish, it was during the swimming and it would tuck its legs tight against uh, the uh, thorax and abdomen and uh, uh, as such the legs did not feature in his pattern. He wanted something that was quick to tie and would make a clean entry in the water and sink to the required depth. This fly requires two materials. It's a, a red-brown center tail from a European pheasant. A ringneck pheasant tends to be more gray. This one's a really reddish-brown. And as the tying thread, uh, he didn't really use thread. What he selected was to combine both weight and uh, tying thread. And he would use a dark copper wire, one that would match the actual color of the, the pheasant tail. So that would provide both the thread between quilts and the weight. For this uh, video I've opted for a partridge barbless uh, nymph hook in a size 10 most of the flies I would tie to fish would be a 12 through to a 18 or sometimes smaller down to 28. I start by building a slight thorax with the copper wire. The whole fly will be a slender affair so there won't be much in the way of build up, just so. While this, uh, while the fly is, I'll tie it, uh, we'll have the same look and feel as the Frank Sawyer original. I'll make a slight departure in the way I tie it, which I believe will result in a more durable fly. Once we've built the, uh, the thorax, we will wrap down to the bend. Sorry for knocking the camera, it's mounted fairly close. As said, we'll use the pheasant tail and we'll take, oh, about, for this, uh, this size of hook, maybe six, seven barbs. Even the tips. trim. The betis has a relatively short tail, so we'll tie it in fairly short. Observe, this is about the right length. What I'll do now is I'll hold the, uh, I'll hold the wire fairly taut and I'll just wrap the pheasant tail fibers. Frank Sawyer would wrap the fibers around the copper wire and then move them uh, forward together. It makes for a slightly more bulky and a slightly more irregular abdomen, so I prefer to do it slightly different. What I do is I counter wrap the body. Come to the front. Redo that one. Now we'll rip 
growth abdomen. and thorax so we come to right at the eye now hold the uh, fibers up and wrap a few turns in front then we'll make an open turn to the uh, back of the apt uh, back of the thorax and pull over the barbs as a wing case. We come to this and now we can kind of make a whip finish with the wire. Then trim this short. And that completes Soyuz Pheasant Tail Nymph.